I just got back from Europe and I am so overwhelmed. I don't know if you guys feel this way when you travel, but every time I travel, I feel one, so insanely guilty because I should be working. And two, I feel like I need a day in between when I get back and when I start working again because I just feel so overwhelmed, but then I feel stressed if I'm not working right away. So I'm back in North Carolina. I flew back straight from Paris to Charlotte and I'm gonna be here for a week just at home with my family. Um, and I'm going to be working out of North Carolina, but I just have so much I need to do in terms of Rella, in terms of social media. I go through phases and the phases have been coming on stronger lately where I just feel not burnt out, but I feel like everything I'm doing is wrong. Like every, everything is just, I, I'm not like complete I, I don't feel like a sense of accomplishment i guess with like anything that i'm doing and i don't even feel like it's like i'm doing that much i just feel a sense of like no motivation a sense of no accomplishment and i think it's also like a feeling of fear of what's gonna happen and what's to come in terms of just like life in general in so many aspects not just work that's just how i feel right now so i hope that this feeling goes away but right now I am going to be recording some podcast ads. I have to record a solo episode and I don't even know what I'm going to record. So that's always fun. I always feel so much pressure with podcasts as well. And I have to send that into my editor and then I am going to film some TikToks for Rella, which I've been totally slacking on. Um, I just filmed one TikTok. It was a get ready with me for my personal account talking about what I do for work because I always want to make sure that like, yes, I post fashion and lifestyle content on Instagram, but I want to make sure that like people know what I do and I continuously talk about it. And that's another aspect of where I'm just like overwhelmed. So I don't know what I need to feel better, but I could literally cry right now of just like stress. And I hate that. So if you're feeling that way, you're not alone. We're in this together. It's one of those weeks where I just could combust into tears at any point. And I can't really talk about it with anyone. Like I'm talking to the camera about it and you guys know about it, but I can't talk about it with my friends. I don't feel like I can talk about it with my family. Like I just don't want to talk about it. It's one of those things where like, I just don't want to talk about it and I internalize it. Let me know if you guys feel this way too. One of the best compliments to get is you smell good. And if you want to smell better at all times, Rella to plan out our content calendar so we had a ton of ideas right here and we still have these two that I need the caption and hashtags for uh, I haven't filmed these last three over here but I added them to the calendar so it makes it so much easier to keep track of so for example like this one is a trending sound and pretty much what we do with trending sounds since i like to record and edit in tiktok is i will add the link to the trending sound right here where it says link i have like the caption right here that i added the hashtags and we have like saved hashtags here which make it so much easier so i don't actually have to think about it and then there's also like an ai hashtag generator which i love using same with the ai caption generator here which i love using and then the link i have it scheduled so it reminds me when i need to go to my drafts and upload this but if it wasn't something that was recorded on tiktok i would just upload it i would hit media upload it right here and then i would just auto post it to tiktok because i don't care for doing that on my own like i can just auto post which is so nice i have a bunch of stuff in the calendar which makes me very very happy this video is also sponsored by Squarespace. And if you guys don't know what Squarespace is, it is the best way to build a website. And it's for anyone, even if you do not know how to code, because you don't need to code at all. They have such beautiful templates for you to choose from. And no matter what type of business you are running, you need a website and Squarespace has the perfect templates for that. For example, Rella's website is on Squarespace and it is so pretty. We get compliments on it all the time and our developers didn't touch a lick of this website. We did it all on our own just with the creativity and customization that Squarespace offers, which I've tried other website builders before and I promise you, you will not get the same experience that you do on Squarespace. So they have award-winning customer support. They have beautiful templates that you literally see on super professional companies' websites. 
and now you can also design your own i'm a big believer that everyone should have their own website and get 10 percent off your first order using my code natalie barbu or go to squarespace.com slash natalie barbu let's get back to the vlog we meet again at this desk i'm gonna update you guys on some things that i've been doing so i'm just looking at my calendar to even remember so i had a catch-up call with natasha at first because i have been gone for the week so she caught me off on everything which has been really nice and we just got to like chat so that was good then i had time for myself so i finished filming i started reaching out to managers i have a lot of um just like emails i need to send and then also little things that i just need to get done like editing videos for rella um putting together a video plan for our video series i have so much in my brain that i just need to like brain dump and i had a call with our office in miami so it was a renewal call to think about if we're going to renew or not i think we're going to renew but just wanted to talk to her about that then i had a call with tess and natasha about merch so one thing that rella is actually going to start doing is we really want to foster our community a lot more and we are going to come out with merch that's super 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 cute i'm so excited and we're just going to do like limited edition drops so like 50 to 100 item orders really small batches and just doing these drops where if you don't get it this first time around like if you do not get it with the sweatshirt or like with the design that we have in that we're creating then like that's it we're not restocking we'll create like new batches with like different designs but we're doing one and done drops and so i think we're going to start out as of now with sweatshirts and um mugs i was at first going to do totes but then i was thinking about myself and also like i was asking natasha and tess about this and i don't know about you but i have so many totes that i get for free um i just have so many random totes that like would i really go online and spend 25 dollars on one probably not um but would i spend 40 dollars on a sweatshirt absolutely so i'm gonna we're gonna do sweatshirts and then mugs i'm thinking of doing hats as well but i think to start we just want to start out with like as limited as possible to test it out so i'm really excited and I want to make it like very like vintage looking and cool and it's gonna say creator club on it I don't want it to say Rella because who would buy that besides literally the team um and then we're gonna sell that and then we're gonna do our first ticketed event in Miami so if you are a Miami creator please let me know and just follow us and follow me on social media so that we can invite you to the event it would be ticketed so you would buy a ticket anyways but I'm just like so 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 excited for that um, and we're going to do it at our co-working space, which will be really nice. And I had a call with my co-founders to catch up on everything that I missed out on this week. Uh, I didn't really like miss out on much because I was still working when I was in London and Paris, just like not nearly as much as I would if I was at home. So in the mornings and in the, in the evenings there, I would work. And so I was caught up like we, you know, we chatted, um, but... I wanted to actually do like a catch-up call and then next week like i said i'm going to wilmington so just planning out what we're going to do in wilmington and now i have one more onboarding call and then i have a podcast today but i just have like so much stuff i need to like get out of my brain and onto the computer i feel like the focus on this for some reason is kind of weird i need to figure out like the settings on this i don't know if maybe that's better i don't really know i'm just sitting at my computer all day so that's the type of vlog that it's going to be today Saturday and I just went to meet up with my friend Sydney who actually know her from New York small world and it was after I moved away I had like met her when I visited New York for fashion week uh, last year and so I know her through like TikTok and Instagram but she's from Charlotte left New York after a year like I did moved back down to Charlotte so very always listening to Taylor Swift moved back down here so very similar path to me and she's so sweet she's a creator she does a lot of like coaching creator tips so definitely check her out and to not just coffee here in South End you guys are familiar with Charlotte this area just reminds me a lot of in Atlanta like the Ponce Street Market I think is what it's called there I've only been there once but it reminds me so much of it and at Charlotte just feels like it's becoming the next Atlanta like it's there's just so much going on there's a farmer's market on the light rail which is like our public transport um and people like walk on it all the time and it's like so cute the coffee shop was packed the line was literally to the door 
and it's just like there's everyone is walking around it feels like such an active city like it feels like such a different city than when i lived here and i love seeing that because i actually really really like charlotte wouldn't want to move back here anytime soon because i like miami so much more and i just like being by the beach but it's funny because i was texting my friend Catherine yesterday and talking about charlotte the people here it's like a culture shock now that i live in miami going to a place like charlotte is a culture shock for me because I don't want to say that there's no diversity here because I actually think Charlotte is a diverse city but a lot of people are very similar here. I know everyone dresses the same way, everyone kind of feels like they went to my high school, like it's that same type of person and it's not a negative thing, it's not like it's a bad thing but it's just all the same versus Miami has its similarities in other areas but it's very Hispanic. I don't know, it's just a, a way different type of person that lives there than here and so it's just like a total culture shock i feel like when i come back here even though i did grow up here it's just like when you go back to your small town living in a big city which is i don't feel like charlotte's a small town like i said i think it's actually growing like so much but it's just a culture shock now i am going to meet up with one of my friends from high school he recently got married i went to his wedding in the fall and him and his wife just bought a house so i'm gonna go see their house and then we're gonna get lunch together and he's like one of the only people that i still keep up with from my high school so uh we probably see each other like twice a year i would say so i'm gonna go see his house um grab lunch and then i'm gonna go back home and i actually need to do a lot of work so i'm just gonna do some work today and especially because i was just traveling i feel like i need to like catch up and actually work this weekend so yeah it's just like so nice out i really i'm i'm so happy with what like charlotte's becoming it's so cute here if you're from here if you've been following me since my charlotte days let me know because i really want to do an event here i think it would do really well and there's like so many more creators now which is also funny because when I was a creator here, I would literally get made fun of. <laughs> and people thought it was weird. So I'm glad times have changed. You are balancing on my laundry right now. Oh my gosh, whenever I'm on camera, I just feel like I need chapstick immediately. My holy grail. I've gone through like six or seven of these. Any flavor, any color. I like um, the pink sugar one or just like the plain one because there's no color, but Summer Friday's lip balm is the only thing I put on my lips. It's amazing. I am sitting here planning my LA and New York trip. So I got the Airbnb booked. I got the hotel booked. I got my one-way flight to LA. So I still need to book the flight back, but regardless, it's booked. And I'm so grateful that I have friends in both places. So half of the time in both places, I'm staying with a friend. And then the other half, I'm getting a hotel or an Airbnb because I don't know. I just don't want to overstay my welcome and also, I am going there for work and I feel like if I'm staying with someone, I have to be like hanging out with them and just more on their schedule. And I know I'm just gonna need to get so much stuff done and I'm gonna need to be on my own schedule that I wanna be considerate and I'm just gonna stay by myself for a whole week. But I was getting, I was kind of like not excited to go to New York or to go to LA because both of those places really burn me out and they really drain me. And while I, I feel like if I go into it with that mindset, I'm not going to have a good time. So I'm trying to shift my mindset and get really excited about it. And so I'm planning meetings with all of these people that I've been like really wanting to hang out with and meet. And I'm planning just like fun things. Like I'm getting really cool podcast guests. I'm going to go on other people's podcasts. I am hopefully going to book a shoot for like the rebrand of my podcast. I'm meeting with really cool investors and i'm just trying to look at it as like i am so lucky to be doing what i do for work like not only am i the founder of a company and we've been around for two years now and almost two years now and we have tens of thousands of users and you know we've made it further than other businesses have and i'm one of the founders of that company but also i am a content creator and an influencer and that is the best job in the world and so who am i to complain that like i'm going to these really cool places for work like i shouldn't be complaining about that or like getting burnt out or annoyed at that i just dm'd and emailed a ton of people booking some things getting like friends together but i don't really have friends but in new york i have my friend grace and then in my la i have tasha so i'm staying at grace's place for 
the week um, in New York and then I'm also staying with Tasha for a few days in LA and those are like some of my best friends so I am excited to stay with them but besides that I don't really have close friends in either of those cities so I'm trying to like make new friends and meet people and just like the people I've been talking to and like scheduling things with I'm just getting so excited so I'm reframing my mindset from this like negative I'm gonna be burnt out mindset to like I'm actually really freaking excited and this is the best job in the world. Mm -hmm.